I'm going to bet that you can't tell the difference between a clone of an analog amp on this Headrush Prime. Today, we're going to be checking out three different amplifiers and seeing how they compare to the clone on the Headrush Prime, the unit that is taking the guitar world by storm. Hi, it's Adam from GIF Music, and today we are joined by the Headrush Prime in the studio and with good reason. The Headrush Prime, since its launch a couple of months ago, has taken the guitar world by storm. Uh, it's jam-packed with features, things such as your practice tool, the Headrush Cloud, Antares Auto-Tune, the fact that this can be used as a vocal processor alongside being used as a guitar processor. But the main thing that has kind of taken and captured the imagination of everyone is the amp cloner. Now, the Amp Cloner, we've done a video on this before upon launch. The video will be down there if you want to have a look where Chris cloned a fuzz pedal. Now, Headrush boldly stated that they could capture fuzz pedals immaculately and in that video proved it. But there have been a couple of firmware updates since then to really sharpen every single bit of the cloning technology. So today, what we're doing is we're taking three different amplifiers with different characteristics. So different speakers, different cabinet sizes, different styles, so clean to heavy amplifiers, high gain. And we're going to sample them. And we're going to A-B them. And you're going to see if you can tell the difference. First amplifier that we have in today to be cloned is this Marshall JCM800 Lead Series. Now, this is the studio variant, so it's a 20 watt power. Um, and it's actually a 1 by 10 combo. Now, with it being a 1 by 10 means that the speaker cone is smaller, so you're not going to get as much low end response. And because it's a smaller box, it means that you're going to get a little bit more mid, a bit spiky in some areas, but combined with the fact that it's a JCM800, it's going to sound great. This is the pinnacle of British amplifiers. So we'll jump into cloning it. And this is how easy it is to clone using the Headrush Prime. So it's incredibly easy to clone your amplifier or pedals on the Headrush Prime. Simply go up to the top left where there is your menu icon, and in the bottom left, there is the amp cloner. Click that. Nice little welcome message. Always nice. Proceed. Yes, we'd like to proceed. So as we said before, the Headrush Prime can facilitate pedals as well. So you've got a pedals only option, an amp preamp option. So if you want to sample, um, clone a preamp that you've had for a long time, like an old Marshall or Mesa or something like that, you can do. But today, because we're doing a combo, we're doing the amp and the cabinet. So we select amp and cabinet. So it's selected for us. This is where you connect your microphone to it. So obviously on the back of the unit, you have a microphone input. This is obviously used as well for your vocals. But today we have an SM7B, which is going to be doing the sampling for us. We also have a connection diagram, but incredibly important to have because otherwise you don't want to be running anything wrong. You don't want to be breaking amplifiers or anything like that. So incredibly easy to read, incredibly easy to use. We've got a VU meter here with a suggestion of making sure a level of negative six when your guitar is played. So, got this lovely Jet guitar here today that'll be helping us out. And turn the amplifier on. You can see there, it peaked at negative six. So if you want to do it a little bit less, you've got a mini knob on the back to kind of change your gain. Uh, but we've got it set up. So just go to next. Then you have your preamp settings. So today we've got everything on 50% apart from presence. Whack that to 50. And then you can match that on here. When you're doing this, it means that in the, in the future, if you've got additional treble, the headrush unit will recognize that and put added treble into the clone. Uh, but as I say, we have it straight up here. So to start the clone, we'll press start clone. We'll put it back onto that. Start clone, five, four, cover your ears. It gets a little bit loud. Hi, it's Adam in a bubble here. I'm just going to tell you what's happening now because it sounds like a load of weird sounds and frankly, they are. What's happening now is the Headrush Prime is sending an algorithmic impulse response through the amplifier along with total harmonic distortion to really capture every single nuance. It's coming in at different levels, different dynamics, different octaves. 
so it can capture the full frequency spectrum of the amplifier. Back to the video then, shall we? We'll give it a bit of a switch around so you definitely don't know. Here's amp one. So we will be revealing at the end of the video which is the real amp and which is the Headrush clone. But in the meantime, put your thoughts in the comments and let's see if your ear is right. Let's test it, put them in the comments, no cheating. On to the next amp. We're on to amp two now. We have here our trusty studio Fender Deluxe Reverb. Now obviously Fender are known as the pinnacle of uh, clean tones. And this is a 1x12 version. Now, obviously, slightly bigger speaker than previously before. It's clean, so we're gonna have quite a full-bodied sound, especially coming from the humbucker in this pickup, and then obviously we'll throw up to the single core to really get that chime. Uh, but let's just jump into it. We're not gonna show you the cloning because we've already done that, so the next time you see us, we'll be playing some guitar. <laughs> which is which? <laughs> Each time we do this, as you can imagine, we do have to go through and check and make sure that all the audio is correct. And I am so interested to see your comments because I got it wrong listening back. <laughs> I want to see the comments. I want to see you guys guessing because if it was me, I'd have an incredibly hard time. I got it wrong and I knew which was which. So third amp time. It's time to enter the realm of heavy metal and high gain with EVH. That's that. That's the third amp done. Once again, we went in to make sure that nothing was clipping, and once again, I got it wrong. The feeling is fantastic when you play it. You really need to play a cloned amplifier because normally it's slightly off, but it felt absolutely natural. It sounded incredible. And I think that really is testament to Headrush and how much time they've put into this. Amp cloning is still relatively new, and the fact that you can get amp cloning alongside your auto-tune, your practice functions, your streaming, the fact that you've got all these additional amps and impulse responses and effects built into this unit that's sub 1,000 pounds is incredible. And it's really exciting. Um, so if you want us to do any more amplifiers or any some, or maybe pedals, comment. Just throw it in the comments, let us know. We'll go over them, we'll, you know, we'll come back and do another one. But if you've liked the video, like it. Subscribe for more guitar content on the Gear for Music Guitar channel. And if you were playing along, here's the results for you. Take it easy. Yeah.